crash of the day. It's Hulk. <laughs> of course, a mid uh, transaction, but yeah, uh, it's Knox here. NK Media Clash of the Day. Topic today, topic of discussion: the recent event from KOTD Blackout Six, man. Blackout Six. Um, sick concept, man. Yeah. So people who don't really know, um, the battlers are told who they're battling, but it's kept secret. Mm. So the battlers are announced on the card, but the actual matchups are kept secret until the day. Um, which obviously keeps fans guessing who's going to battle who. Yeah. So it was a sick event. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, we, we paid for the pay-per-view. You get me? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Clash of the Day, always supporting. Um, yeah, man. A lot of surprises. What in terms of battle? What battle stood out for you? Um, Disaster versus Iron Solomon on the first day was really good. Um, that was a sick battle. That's like you gotta watch that over and over again just to get most most of the shit, not all the shit. But yeah, carry on. And the second day, I think Joe Nye versus Psychosis or Sickosis or whatever, the fuck, <laughs> however you pronounce it. But yeah, I reckon that battle that was a paid that was a like a judge battle. Whoever won, do you know, what I mean, everyone put like they both put a, a, yeah, a they G both in. put a grand up. So whoever won took the money home. Yeah, I think Jonah ends up winning that. That was a very good and close battle. Yeah. Personally, I think Psychosis won because... I, you know what? Go on. He lost from the time he put on a Where's Wally outfit. In the UK, we call it Where's Wally. Yeah, by for the real. It's called, the books are called Where's Wally, not Waldo. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not going to lie. I looked past it and I was just listening to the bars and I was just like, you know what? He did lose by having that outfit on. But at the same time, it's like, yo, if you and listen to what he's saying... Like the way he was breaking it down and flipping the flows and flippity flippity, you know. What yeah, I mean? but Motis you know what it is though? He tried extra hard and he it, did. It, just, it, he it did. really showed. And with Joe and I, yeah, he probably tried twice, um, just as hard, but it didn't show as much. He took it more in his stride. Like mm. I think the whole where's Wally thing just kind of like I don't know, man. Do you think Joe and I is tainted after the disaster battle? Not at all, man. Not at all. I think he got. Life. I think he got a lot of support for that battle, and I think a lot of people have liked it from mm. the pay per view response and that. Um, I think a lot of people are actually looking to see him progress now, man. Especially like at the end of the day, he's a newcomer. Mm. Yeah, he got his shot against disaster, but um, he just battled someone who's come out of the G- ground zero, kind of, yeah, which yeah. is King of the Dots, sort of lower league. Yeah. So. At the same time, he's happily put the money up and battled this guy. Now it's like, okay, he's willing to prove himself as well on both levels. True. So you know what? He's got he had to gain respect after that battle because it was such a well like watched battle. You had the URL audience and the KOTD audience exactly. and don't flop you had everyone watching that battle in it because Joe and I was the next disaster. And to face disaster would be like, you know what I mean? That's supposedly a classic battle when you mm. got 3 0. So, yeah, man. Well, so you think he won that battle? Definitely. Definitely. All right, cool. But that's, you know what? I, I think it's debatable, but he ended up winning anyway. I so. think the, the standout bar was the about the intestines, and, the, and then he ended up saying, you'll digest in time. And that, yeah. that was a bar. Do you know what it is, though? For me, it's like, I get it, like you're doing a, a particular delivery. Like, right, like, I'm not saying you can't bar and write. You can write and you can bar away as whatever the fuck, but like, I don't know. If from your like, label, there's a, like a next disaster. I'm going to view you as a next disaster in it. And then when Why don't? Because he's not, I, to be honest with you, I yeah. think he's very quite different than disaster. It's his tone and his delivery. Mm. If he didn't have the same tone and delivery than him, it might. I wouldn't think about disaster. I don't think he does though. I think, I think he he's, sounds he's, like the yeah. angry Jewish dad of the film, whereas disaster sounds different. I think they've got the same kind of multi style. Yeah. But at the same time, that um, Jonah is more structured. Um, he sounds a bit different vocally. I do think he does. Mm. Um, he doesn't do all of the heavy breathing and that as much. And I think he kind of learned from battling Diz. I think Diz did beat him and mm. Diz did break him down and Diz did show him, look, you're not going to be successful trying to be a clone of me. Yeah. And I think from that, Jonah came back and kind of added his own element into it. Personally, I think he done well. Cool, man. Let us know who you think won that battle. Um, all right. Speaking of disaster, disaster versus Iron Solomon. Yeah. 
early contender for battle of the year. Sick battle, sick battle. Sick um, battle. Disaster said um, nigger as well or something, didn't he? Oh, man. He said, he said, I'm saying? That's what made me think he automatically lost because mm. I understand, you know what I mean? In fact, I don't. Fuck it, next. <laughs> he said like my, he said it in a in a sense of my nigger or something, but yeah. still like I don't know like where it's because he's been rolling with Crack City and Daylight and Active and like, who gave him the fucking I don't know. Someone I'm said saying, to him, man. yeah, you can say that. But on the bar, if we talk about the schemes and bars and it was the good. rounds in between, you Do know, you know what, what was good what was, was good. the fact that I knew everyone knew that disaster was gonna come with loads of Jew jokes because Iron Solomon's Jewish. Yeah, so. The way Iron Solomon came with the Arab and Muslim jokes mm. and that, yeah, it threw me off. It was great. It was fucking, it was good, and it was it was good to see somebody like it's very 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 controversial this in the Quran and and, and Islam and the Prophet Muhammad, you know, bro. Yeah, I will kill you for that shit, yeah. you know, bro. It's different levels to this shit, you know. So the way he did it was quite tasteful, but still. Kept like, it rap, yeah. yeah. Kept it rap, and I personally, I think you know what? This is a breakout performance for Solomon. Mm. It felt like he'd evolved from his like. It's like he's got used to the ring. You get me? He's got used to the updated ring. He was delivering kind of on point. Some and, of his bits were still a bit corny, I think. But uh, true, I think he was trying to keep his style though. Grand know? time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah he wanted like, to kind of mm. like mesh it the new school with the old school. And I think when he was breaking down this the disaster, but like, disaster said in his second round. They said that Iron Solomon's second round was his best second round yeah. that's ever been spat to him. I whatever, think I think Disaster lost that battle by showing Iron Solomon way too much love and respect yeah, in yeah, his yeah. rounds as well, yeah, man. Yeah. Like Solomon Disaster was, fire, was definitely yeah, but Disaster showed it like a lot too much mm. when really he's battled fire people before, and he hasn't showed them that much respect and love, mm. did he? That he but did I think with right? Solomon, it's, it's because, old school thing, yeah, it? because it's he's school salutation, such a legend in his own eyes. Like he mm. even said, "Oh, I grew up watching him and whatever." So exactly, it's like do you know what I mean. It's probably more of an honor. It's like exactly. the whole Cassidy effect again. Do you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. But um, yeah, I think one of the standout bars for me was um, Iron Solomon said something about. Um, the Torah's the original OG. Mm. The Quran is just fan fiction. And like, that's fucking crazy, blood. Mm. Because if you understand fan fiction, which a lot of the people watching might, it's like, say you're not happy with something, yeah? Like you watch a film, mm. like um, The Matrix, yeah, and you're not happy with the ending. yeah, You will write your own ending. And it might even become a popular comic. Yeah. And it might actually catch on as an alternative ending. And my man actually accused my man's religion yeah. of being written by a fan, fan of that religion, <laughs> but that didn't like the ending and tried yeah. to change it. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is deep. a crazy. That's a crazy that's angle. That's crazy to take. deep, man. Yeah, it's crazy deep. But let's not get into too much religion. On this yeah, time. of course, man. Listen, Clash of the Day respects all religions, creed and cultures. All that. Um, you Even know, Scientology. Yeah, yes. no. Nah, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. But yeah. No, i um, All right, cool. Set some standout battles. We've only got like a minute left, so some standout battles we've got to talk about. Um, Arsenal head ice. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I would say Arsenal, great performance. Head ice looked like he was a bit, he was a bit off. He was stumbling, yeah, mumbling. Yeah, yeah. He was stumbling, mumbling. Yeah, That's yeah. what I gotta say. What do you think? Yeah, man. Um, could have been better, man. From both sides, I think. But Arsenal's definitely trying to prove his point now. Yeah. I, think I think, think, yeah, because he's fucked up so much and that, and people have started to clock on that he just recycles and yeah. and chokes and this, that, and the other. I think he's actually tried to prove a point, and mm. that was a very serious battle for him to take. Just. Head ice is an OG. Head ice, f- like obviously from the Lions then and all that sort of shit in it. So mm. it's different levels in it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, uh, next battle to talk about is Quill versus J Pro. Uh, obviously, Jay shout Pro, out UK why head. the fuck did he talk about her so much, man? Yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit lame. Still, lost it, man. That was a bit lame. Still, a whole fucking three rounds about her, and mm. he sounds all aggressive and angry and shit for no reason, man. His bars ain't even all that, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's like he forces it too much. He's yeah. got the, like the, the like slightly the Danny Myers effect yeah. as well. I need to do a segment about Danny Myers, but I think why he's a bit off. But listen, man, we got to lock this off. Do you know what I mean? Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you like the the video. Make sure you share it on Facebook, whatever social media platform you use. It's been Nux. It's been Hulk. Do you know what I mean? Clash of the day. 
Shout out, Baz. Shout out all the subscribers. Shout out everyone who comments and shares it. You know what I mean? We love you guys, man. Peace. One. You've been watching Clash of the Day. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on any of the videos that you feel to. Thank you.